ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस अबाउट द कोर्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट इज नथिंग अबाउट यूनिक्स सिस्टम प्रोग्रामिंग एंड योर सब्जेक्ट कोड इज बी सी एस फाइव वन फाइव सी ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द ओवर व्यू ऑफ सिलेबस ओके सो वी हैव डिस्कस द सेम योर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ए स्कीम ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दिस सो विल बी गोइंग थ्रू द द मॉडल फर्स्ट नाउ वेयर विल डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड बेसिक यूनिक्स कमांड्स राइट इवन इन मॉडल टू यू हैव द यूनिक्स कमांड्स सो दिस ऑल अबाउट योर कोर्स सो देर इज टू थिंग्स दैट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट वन वी हैव शेल प्रोग्रामिंग एंड वन वी हैव सिस्टम प्रोग्रामिंग सो वॉट इज द शेल प्रोग्रामिंग एंड सिस्टम प्रोग्रामिंग यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दैट सो इफ यू सी दैट अबाउट द यूनिक्स प्रोग्रामिंग दैट सो इट टू पार्ट दैट इज सिस्टम एंड शेल सो योर शेल प्रोग्रामिंग इज नथिंग इट्स अ शेल कॉम्प्राइज ऑफ द कमांड्स for interpreting any of the operation to be executed so you usually what you do you have the command prompt you will be writing some command right so what is that you are interpreting something right so that actually in terms of unix it will be going to be considered as a shell programming and this shell programming you are going to execute a single command at a time you will be writing a single command hope you remember a very simple i am not talking about now uh, for the unix i talk just for the windows if you want to create any directory what is the command you use have you created any directory folder using command prompt cd mk dir so what do you do mkdir for directory name enter so what happen only one command you are writing at a time got it so that is the actually used for the similar way we will be using for the shell programming and one more very important things might be you will be thinking that why we are not discussing about we have unix system programming but we don't have windows system programming subject so windows having the graphical interface that means you can see that what do you want to do that you have the you can use the clickable right you can use the mouse you can look at the screen and you can perform the operation so that's what windows become very familiar among the users but if we talk about linux and unix even we have gui but if you work towards the server side then it's totally command prompt basis that means no gui will be there only you will be having uh, like command prompt i will show you that also it will only with the command prompt it's called as terminal so you have to open the ter terminal and you have to work with that so that's why people will not remember all the commands so might be 10% people can remember and work out remaining cannot so that's what uh windows uh is become familiar for the g2 gi but unix become fam familiar with the security wise server side and many more uses are there using unix or linux based operating system so in that as i said we have two shell and system so hope you understood about the shell programming so it is all single command basis so you will be having single command that you will used to be agile then what about the system programming the name itself you can understand the system program you are going to write the program for the some application you will build some service you are going to build for that you require the programming and basically we are going to use c programming for that so programming the computer system software itself so you are going to build a system software you will build a software how you use on windows so similarly 
it is here also and it aims to produce a software right or a software and software platform which will provide a service to other software so if you have that it will give you the service it will provide a service using that so you will be building that kind of application or server using system programming then after that we say that unix what is the unix as mentioned unix is widely used os os is what operating system with both handled and super computer globally if you go and look at toward the research side the super computer this all they'll be using only linux based operating system they don't use windows the unix and this is widely used so widely used it remain a preferred platform for enterprise database for internet service provider web services and electronics e-commerce so whatever you are using the services your netflix hotstar amazon prime all the prime videos right your youtube your websites so most of this service is provided on the top of nothing that linux environment so that will be the service will be installed and using that it is going to be used any web application even your website right uh, then what is that amazon flipkart they all some they used windows server based some they used even linux based so mostly and widely used that is nothing it's a linux based operating system and it is secured because the users or everyone doesn't having no direct access they have compared to windows operating system so it is highly secured so that's why it is adopted worldwide remember this x is nothing it's uh, called as uniplexed right then i for information and computing system okay so unix generally it is referred as actually it is called as we pronounce right as a unix but actually it will be u n i c s right so that also if you pronounce what will come u n i c s unix right so that's why unix that is that's what u n that is for the uni plexed i for information c for computing as for system okay so that is the unix platform and using the unix you can serve the services based on internet right and it is more secure remember compared to windows operating system now moving to verse next what is the unix operating system so you know operating system is nothing it's just communicate between your hardware and software right so what is the hardware nothing it's going to communicate between your hardware and software right so as is mentioned hardware component and software what is what are the software operating system is one also one of the software but on the top of that we will install another software what are the software you will be installing you will install microsoft word excel powerpoint right any gaming platform then you will be installing any photo editing tools video editing tools that all are the software on the top of operating system you are going to install right so that is what happen the os will communicate between both hardware and software how to run that right so that's what is all about the unix operating system and it is a software that will manage 
your computer hardware and provide convenient and safe environment once you have with the unix operating system it's so mostly considered as a safe because executor exe file is not going to run with help on uh, linux or unix operating system what are the features of operating system see in the examination this generally ask explain the unix features and the architecture of unix explain the architecture of unix and its features answer is here so you have to further to ex explain in details you have to refer textbook so what are the features we have for the operating system generally it will allocate the memory for the program whatever the program you are going to install whatever the program you are going to use it will allocate the memory for that then it will load the program into allo allocated memory so when you are going to execute the program it has to be load where it is going to be allocated then only it will be execute then it will load cpu register that is it will maintain each and every program segment might be would have heard about the segment okay so this segment will help you to allot allocate the program for the each cpu register then after that you are going to give the instruction so instruction will provide okay to the program and it will keep track of last executed status and after the execution the operating system will clear all the memory location for further program so whenever you are running when a small program for that this entire process will happen it will load allocate execute and at last it will clear so that's what in unix operating unix operating system every program every execution will having the separate process id every program i'm telling so you have to see the process id which process is running and if you want to stop that process you can stop that process also so these are generally features of the uh, linux operating system and uh, if you look at there any operating system interface as i said right when you have the hardware component at the bottom then top of that software will be there and on the top of that whatever the others program you want to use so that will be there so if you see the hardware in hardware part you know very well nothing it will come about ram your uh, cpu your input output right so everything will whatever the input hardware devices are there that is going to be there and then you are going to install operating system on the top operating system is also one of the software one of the set of uh, programs also it is considered that also that's what separately it is called as operating system and in that software you will be having uh, like system software application software right and this will be used by the several users you are going to communicate whatever you want to perform you can perform this is the normal architecture of really by operating system okay so what are the functions of 